and welcome to another uh, Coda Guitar Cigar Box Guitar lesson. So uh, this is a series on three string cigar box playing. Um, so if you want to check out our other videos on uh, finger picking patterns and slide playing, uh, that will help you um, to get the most out of this lesson as well. Uh, and in this lesson what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at how to play uh, 12 bar blues structures. So this is, uh, this is the most common um, structure, this is the most common cycle that we use in, in blues. Uh, you can hear it, uh, loads of different styles, acoustic, uh, electric, full bands, uh, cigar box, six string guitar, and um, it's, it's a very simple structure. It lasts for 12 bars basically and just keeps repeating. Uh, before we get into that though, let's just check the tuning. So uh, first of all we've got low G, and then middle D, and then high G. So this is the most common tuning that we get for cigar box guitars. So this is what we're using today. Okay. Now um, we're going to be in what we call the key of G. So these three notes, these three strings, that makes a chord. Um, G D G. That makes uh, a, a G chord of sorts. It's like a power chord. And um, so we're going to play a blues in the key of G. Uh, and we've got two other chords that we can go uh, play along with that one. We've got C, which is on fret 5, so uh, you, you can bar this, uh, you don't have to use a slide. Uh, I'm personally using a slide, uh, but the, the effect is the same because we're just looking at the, the whole structure of, of the, the, the 12 bar. Uh, and then the other chord is a D, which is on fret 7. So we've got open G, we've got fret 5, which is a C, and then we've got D, which is fret 7. And uh, what I did just in that little demo at the beginning um, is I also went up to fret 12. So that, that is also a G, that's what we call an octave. We've got the open strings, uh, fret 12 is an octave, so that's also a G, so we're going to use that. And so uh, most music that you'll play has got uh, four beats in a bar. Um, and so, as with the picking patterns from uh, the previous videos, um, so the video on finger picking patterns is dead useful. So we've got four beats in a bar, three, four. Um, we're going to split the cycle up into four bar chunks. And so um, we're going to use this pattern from the previous video. We're going to use together. So it's together thumb, index, thumb, middle. So middle together with thumb, index, thumb, middle. Now each one of those little loops is a bar. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. So I'm literally just going to play that four times. So we'll call that the second one, third one, and then the fourth one. Straight away here, I'm going to go to fret 5. So there's a C. I'll play that twice and then I'll go back to open G twice. And then fret 12 for, sorry, fret 7 for D, fret 5 for C. Open and then back to D. So all of that was 12 bars. So we had uh, four G's, then we had two, four bars of G, two bars of C, then we went back to two bars of G, and then right at the end we had one bar of D, one bar of C, one bar of G, and then back up to D again right at the end. So Let's try that again. So um, you, you want to make sure you can play this pattern first, or even if it's a different picking pattern, at least uh, make sure you, you keep it in time with me. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Second bar. Third bar. And then fourth one, ready to move to fret. up there, back to 
open for two bars and then fret seven five and then open and then back to fret seven for D again and so you notice what I'm doing there is I'm just keeping the same speed all the way through so it's like a, your thumbs like a foot tap basically and if you do that and you can change in time uh, however you're playing with your fingers or slides then uh, you're just basically playing a 12 bar structure and the really good thing about blues is um, once you've like established the structure uh, it, nearly always it just stays the same all the way through um, you, you might even have stabs and breaks um, but we're, we're still counting like four bars of G at the beginning then two C's two G's and then D C G D so uh, what I might do is I might put a little bit of variation in um, by using, because we're on G for quite a long time, so uh, to, it can be a bit boring if we just play the open strings all the time. So I'm going to go all the way up to, to fret um, 12. Um, so I might play uh, fret 12 on the, the fourth G, basically. So let's try that. Two, three, four, one, two. So here's the second bar of G. Here's the third bar of G. I'm going up to fret 12. Then C. And then back to G. Let's go up to fret 12 again. C, uh, D, fret 7. Then C, fret 5 open and then back up to D again and you can go around that as many times as you want uh, as it would do in a proper song. So a few little um, I suppose slight embellishments, slight sort of grace notes that I'm putting in there uh, just to make it sound more interesting uh, with, with the slides specifically so again check out the other video on, on slide technique. Um, you can do a little slide in to the note so if I'm on two bars of C, I might slide in at the beginning of each bar just to make it interesting. And also a little bit of vibrato, that sort of oscillating sound um, where you're moving from your elbow. Um, but again, check out the other video on that. And, um, and really it's just about, keep. It, it might not seem like the most sort of spectacular thing that you'll, you'll ever do, but this, this is really good foundation uh, because if you get this, uh, you, you essentially, you'll just be making maybe your riffs or the way you're playing your chords uh, a bit more uh, advanced, a bit more complex, but you'll still be using a very similar structure to this. So if you're able to go around it two, three, four times and keep it consistent, that's, that's really excellent for your playing. Um, this rhythm here, this was straight. And what that means is the, um, the, 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 the finger notes are playing in between the thumbs. So the thumbs on the beat and uh, the finger notes are what we call on the off beats. So in between the beats. So the thumb is where you tap your foot. The fingers are in between where you tap your foot. So we call it the off beats. And a straight rhythm uh, is exactly dividing. Your fingers are exactly dividing the thumb beats in two. So they're exactly twice as fast placed exactly in between. Like but, 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 like that. So exactly in between. Now, uh, Typically, um, blues is, is often actually swung, so it's got a slightly different rhythmical feel. And, and what that means is the, the, the finger notes are just delayed, they come in a bit later. It feels a bit more lazy, so instead it's quite driving when we put the finger notes in between. But when we delay with the fingers, it makes it feel a bit more relaxed, a bit more lazy. And so what what I'm, what I'm basically doing here is um, I'm, uh, I'm playing with my thumb exactly the same speed but I'm delaying so it's a longer gap before I pluck with my finger. Longer and then because there's a longer gap I've got to be straight back in with my thumb directly after I've played with my finger. You see that so it's thumb, 
finger thumb and it feels like a very uneven rhythm it's almost like if you imagine a sort of horse trot where it's just like swaying from side to side so say if I applied that to that finger picking pattern it might sound a bit like this uh, sorry it's together at the beginning I'm getting a little bit slower here but it's it's the finger notes in between that make it feel swung. I'll go up to C. And then back to the open. And then... exactly the same as what I was doing previously just with a swung rhythm so if I just if I just try it one more time a little bit faster so one swung rhythm two three four so open second third and then fret 12 then to C So uh, looking back at the video where we were looking at the fingerstyle patterns, um, you could maybe try and play some of those with a swung rhythm as well. Um, and, and if you can play straight and swung, basically they're the two main feels that we get with blues, the two main rhythmical feels. Um, so I hope that lesson was useful. Uh, please check out the other videos on our channel and uh, I look forward to seeing you here again soon on Coded Guitar.